and all those pipes. Listen, you old poop, why don't you put some decent plumbing in this fireplace? <laughs> we will as soon as we get some decent tenants. Yeah, but maybe you'd like us to move. That'll suit me fine. All right, all right, that's it. I said, we're moving. <laughs> I wouldn't stay in this crummy apartment with those horrible merchants if you paid me. Hello. Hello. I'd like to speak to Mrs. Mertz. <laughs> Hello. Whoever told you you can play the piano? <laughs> Good morning. I hate to bother you, Mrs. Ricardo, but I believe I left my diamond rings on your piano last night. Yes, you did, Mrs. Mertz. I'd be very happy to get them for you. Oh, don't bother. I'll get them. If they're still there. I don't know why you should worry. You can always buy another box of Cracker Jack. <laughs> I'll have you know these are real diamonds. <laughs> Mrs. Ricardo, would you be so kind as to inform me just when we are to be deprived of your charming company? Very shortly. Good. Thank you. My, it'll certainly be nice getting away from such disagreeable people. It certainly will. Would you like to give me the check for the next five months' rent now? Of course, I'd be delighted. What do you mean, the next five months' rent? Well, if you're leaving, you have to pay off your lease. Our lease? Yes, don't you remember? You begged me on bended knee to give you a lease. Just so that no one else could have this fantastically inexpensive, lovely apartment. Oh, you mean that one-sided, unfair binding contract that we were forced to sign before you would grant us the privilege of moving into this broken-down hovel? <laughs> Broken down is right. Look at this place. It'll take the next five months' rent to redecorate. Redecorate? Yes. After we fumigate. <laughs> you can leave the check in my mailbox. <laughs> Honey, I don't seem to be oh, able to... shut up! <laughs> What's the matter with you? Oh, I'm sorry. Ethel was just up here and she made me so darn mad. What now? She says she, they're going to hold us to our lease. We have to give them five months' rent before we can leave. I guess we're stuck here. Well, now, that, uh, that all depends. On what? On whether we can uh, break the lease or not. Do you think we can? Mm, could be. What's on your mind? <laughs> we are going to become the two most unpleasant, disagreeable, nasty people in the whole world. But How? We'll force ourselves. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's see now. What can we think of that'll make them kick us out? <laughs> think nasty or we'll get it. <laughs> After we decided to try and break our lease, Lucy and I spent the whole morning thinking of ways to annoy the Mercers. I had to go to rehearsal at noon, so I left Lucy in charge of Operation Nasty. <laughs> and I couldn't have left it in more capable hands. What a brain she has. If you ever need any good, clean, dirty work done, I've got just the kit. As you know, the Mercers live directly beneath us. And when I came home, I found Lucy stamping around the room in football shoes, throwing books on the floor, and generally making as much noise as she could. Hi there, honey. Hi. How's my little lift breaker doing? Just fine. Not say so, rehearsal. Oh, pretty good, honey. <laughs> A riveter's hammer. Watch. Hey, that's very good. That's very good. I'm surprised they haven't moved out. I have quite a 
schedule. Yes? Oh, it's time to make another call there, folks. Well, let me, let me look at Louis. <laughs> hey. Bob. Get this. Yeah? Hello. This is the Ajax Salvage Company. We buy old glass. I understand you have some rings that you're interested in selling. <laughs> your side. <laughs> we'll break that lease yet. Now, remember, when you come home tonight, make a lot of noise. Oh, that reminds me. I won't be home till late tonight, honey. Why? Well, we have to rehearse for a couple of hours after the club closes. Ricky, why don't you have the rehearsal here? Honey, are you crazy? I got a 16-piece band. I'll blow the roof off the joints. <laughs> well, doesn't look like rain. I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> Remember, this is to break the lease, so make it loud. One, two. Pero que se va, bongo, pero que se va. Y suena así el tambo, pero que sí, bum, 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 va. Y vuelve a revisar, pero que sí, bum, 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 va. A cumba, 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 en cero, cero. A bongo, 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 cero, cero. Ricky, sí que va sonando el cumba, en cero, bongo, pero que se va, bongo, pero que se va. Session tonight. Ricky Ricardo in person, and they're selling tickets. Oh, no! <laughs> How do you like that? I'm going down there and give them a piece of my mind. Yeah. Oh, they're back in their apartment. It was too cold outside. Oh. They sold us the last ticket. Oh, they're back in their apartment, are they? Well, we'll dedicate the next number to Fred and Ethel Mert. An old Cuban folk dance called El Breco the Liso. <laughs> El Breco the Liso? Yes. Yeah. How does this old Cuban folk dance go? Ta-dum, 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 ta-da-da-da-da. Da-da. Oh, that's right! Everybody! Hey, 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 
Okay, you win. Here's your lease. <laughs> <laughs> 